Consider this series. So what I'm going to do is just throw out some topics, talk just a little bit about them, and maybe get your feedback on them, create full videos on each one of these topics. And if you have something you'd like to add to that video or have comments, you know, let me know what you think. Subscribe and comment. I, you know, I'm doing this channel for all of us. I just want to feel better myself and hopefully I can help one person feel better. And if you can help with that, that would be great. Images like these are what come into the minds of most people when they think about mental illness. And that creates this stigma. You know, I'm not that crazy. I don't need to go see a psychiatrist. I'm okay. I, I'm not crazy. And so we don't seek the help we need because that's for crazy people. That's for people that are totally nuts. And I'm not totally nuts. Plus, if you are mentally ill, it disqualifies you for so many things. You can't be a leader if you have a mental illness. And did you know that if you go to get your driver's license renewed and admit on the form that you've been in a mental health facility within the last number of months, then you have to have a physician sign a form that says you can still have a driver's license. And he has to indicate how often you need to have a review of this. What? Hold on, wait a minute, stop the presses. That's just crazy. I'm not going to let that go through. We've got to stop mental illness. At least stop using that term. Stop the stigma. Saying mental illness puts an emphasis on the mind or the psyche. And like many other diseases, like most diseases, there's an organ associated with mental illness, and that organ is the brain. So why can't we talk about brain health instead of mental illness? Now, everybody would like to have a better brain, right? So if we get people to think about brain health instead of mental illness, because mental illness makes it sound like you're a psycho, like you're crazy, like it's all in your head. Oh, oh, wait, wait, it is all in your head because that's where your brain is. And everything you do is directed by your brain. So if the brain is not healthy, then you can't be healthy. If you get the brain working well and being healthy, then the mind, the psyche, the feelings, the thoughts will follow the brain and also be more healthy. So let's throw away that term, mental illness, and let's talk about brain health.